We are very excited for this new release of ELS version 6. The development team has been working very hard to add a lot of great new features. This is the first in a series of brief video tutorials spotlighting a few of the more significant new features. So, for the first tutorial, we're going to show you the new Group Trim and Extend feature. In many cases, small changes in the cross sections of columns or girders can cause integrity issues with the model. This is due to a small overlap or small gap in geometry caused by making changes to your styles after you've used them in your model. With the new Group Trim and Extend feature, the user can select these components and adjust their ending points by either extending or shrinking one of them to maintain connectivity between components. Okay, so let me show you how this works. First, select Group Trim and Extend from the Modify menu. I'll select the beams around this column on the left as modified objects. Then I'll select the column as a targeted object. Then I'll click OK and you're done. You'll notice that the beam lengths are adjusted according to the column dimensions. Pretty simple. The nice thing about this is that you don't have to cut any elements and end up with irregular or strange element shapes in your model. Next, let's look at an example where there is a gap between the column and the beam. So we'll start by selecting the beams around this column on the right as modified objects. Then select the column as a targeted object. Then press OK. In this example, you will notice that the beams didn't change due to the tolerance setting for this function. To fix this, let's check the distance of the gap. Click Draw X-Axis Dimension to measure the distance between the column and the beam. Okay, now that we know the distance, select Group Trim and Extend from the Modify menu again. As we did before, select the beams around the column as modified objects, then select the column as the targeted object, and change the tolerance to be larger than the distance between the beam and the column. You will notice that the beam lengths are now adjusted according to the new column dimensions. While this is a really simple example, this feature can save you a ton of time if you have a full model built and need to change the dimensions of a column that appears 40 times throughout your model. So again, that was the Group Trim and Extend feature, one of the many new features released with ELS version 6. For more information, visit us at extremeloading.com.